This video looks at three of Perfectit's tests, italics, prefixes, which is part of the test of compound words, and super and subscripts. You can use Perfectit's stylesheet editor to customize checking for all three. To start, select the stylesheet you're working with, then click Edit Current Style. Looking at the italics tab, you can see that by default, Perfectit looks just at foreign words. Here's the list of words that it looks for. We're going to look at adding to and modifying that list. By default, Perfectit looks for consistency in italicization of these words. However, consistency with italics is a little different to some of Perfectit's other tests. That's because some styles call for words to be italicized in the first location, but not after that. So a phrase will only be found to be inconsistent if it appears in both italics and Roman, and it's italicized after the first instance. So looking at this list, you can pick any word and select the style that Perfecta enforces. For example, with force majeure, you can choose between italics, no italics, or you can set the preference for just the first entry. Let's choose to have that always in italics. You can also add to the list of words that Perfecta looks for. There might be other foreign words you want to check, or you might want to add titles, ship names, works of art, or anything else that your style manual calls for italicization. For example, we could add the name of a publication, such as The Times, and we can make sure that's always in italics. The test of prefixes is part of the test of compound words. However, it has its own tab in the style sheet editor. By default, Perfectit looks for consistency, but with this tab, you can set a preference for hyphenation, a space, or closed. Or you can choose not to test a particular prefix at all. For example, for the word hyper, we could choose to make that with a hyphen. As with italics, you can also add prefixes, such as macro, and then we can add a preference for Perfectit to enforce that. Moving on from prefixes, the tab for super and subscripts also works in a similar way. However, the default in this case isn't consistency. Perfecta includes a number of common chemical formulae. The default for those is for the number to be in subscript. So for example, Perfecta will make the two in H2O appear in subscript. This list also includes a number of common SI measurements. And the default for those is to use superscript. For example, the two in M2 or meters squared will be enforced as superscript. The same thing goes for to the power of symbols. Just like italics and prefixes, with this tab you can add more formulas and symbols and you can set preferences for the numbers in those to be in either superscript or subscript. So that completes this video. Now you should be able to set preferences for italics, prefixes and super and subscripts. In the next video we'll look at wildcard searches.